Hi and welcome to our SEA video blog, Winnick and James from the Career Group. And today we're going to discuss how to aggregate your RSS feed on your homepage using PHP. So it's good for a couple of reasons to have your latest news on your homepage with an aggregator. Firstly, for your users, it allows you to have your latest uh, news and content on your homepage. And also from an SEO point of view, it's good to have fresh content on your homepage. With any aggregator, I would recommend that you use FeedBurner, like we discussed in the last SEO video. Basically, it improves your loading time and takes the load off your server. So when using the RSS aggregator, there's a couple of things that it will automatically fetch for you from your RSS feed. There's the post's title, URL, excerpt, uh, date, and you can get a thumbnail as well from your RSS feed. Okay, so there's kind of three um, RSS aggregators that I've come across and I've used. Um, first one being SimplePy, which we'll do a little demo on shortly. The other two are Magpie RSS and RSS Aggregator. Now they're very similar those two and they use quite a lot of um, source code and the advantage with SimplePy um, is that it only uses one include file. Okay, so we're just going to show you a SimplePy demonstration just now. Okay, if you download the SimplePy zip file from Career Communications blog, open it up and you've got these two files. You've got the include file from SimplePy, which you can get from simplepy.org, and you've got the index page as well. So we're going to work from the index page using Dreamweaver. In here, we're requiring the include, so all the information that's on the include gets required into this, uh, into this file. We're then uh, defining which um, RSS feed we want to recall. So we've got the feed burner, the notice the feed burner from the week before the Career Communications blog, and then just the um, data, the character set at the top of the uh, file. Then underneath the doc type in your head, we've got a H1 which records the um, feed title, and you've got a paragraph with the feed description. Now you can remove that if you don't want that onto your, if you're going to include it into your sidebar. Then for each item, we've got a, a, um, a certain specification. So we've got a H2 which echoes the uh, title of the post, the little paragraph to echo the uh, description and then just on the date that it was published. So if you upload this to the first light, it's just these two files you need. We can see then in Safari what it looks like. So we've got this title here, the description of the blog here, and then each post has then got the same attributes. So it's got the title, a small excerpt from the description, and the date. Thank you for that, Nick. Don't forget you can find the supporting files used in that blog at www.careercommunications.co.uk forward slash news. You can also follow us now on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash careergroup. Don't forget if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them on our blog or on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.